skeletons with Disney Queen Skelly here and say hi to the hubby. I got hi. him on his video. <laughs> Could you believe it? Okay, we actually have a game we're going to play. So just a couple days ago, we watched the movie Inside Out. It's a really good Pixar movie. For and if you haven't seen it, I don't know where you've been. But it's his favorite in terms of the soundtrack, so I just decided to put it on yesterday. So what are we doing? I came up with a little game. So the game is what's inside my mind. Now, if someone else has done this and I just didn't know about it, I'm sorry if I stole it, but as far as I know, this is my original idea. And sorry for the awkward camera angle. My computer doesn't know how to function. Anyway, so the idea is to guess what you think is in your partner's mind, how you think it functions in terms of the movie Inside Out. So we have... My Islands, uh, Imaginary Friends, The Land, Memory Color, and Which Emotion Runs My Mind. So let me explain a little because even he's confused. But then again, he's always confused. Hey. It's a good thing you're pretty. <laughs> so My Islands. If you guys know in the movie Inside Out, and if you haven't seen it, cut out the video entirely, go watch it, then come back, and then you'll understand what we're doing. In Inside Out, Riley has islands that make her who she is. She has, <laughs> it's clicking. So she has like family island, honesty island, um, all that stuff in her mind. So since the movie starts out with, I think it's five islands, right? Five islands? I think, yeah. Yeah, so it starts out with family, honesty, goofball, friendship. I'm missing one. Okay. Hockey. There we go. Yeah. So those, those, those are the five. Um, we're going to guess which five islands we think the other person has in their mind. So how well do you know me? <laughs> how well do I know you? Okay. Yeah, I, I think I know when yours too. Let me know when you have them. <laughs> Barely on the second one. You're kidding me. These are long things to get. Well, you don't have to write the whole thing out. You can just kind of abbreviate and then just say I it. I literally was writing the whole thing down. I did that for two of them and then realized I ran out of room because my hand handwriting is so big. What's inside your mind or my mind? Mine. Oh. Okay, so that's what I'm writing down. Yeah, I'm doing what's inside your mind. Okay. So basically, like, how well do you know me in the year and a half we've been together? <laughs> and, like, the three years we've known each other. He's so cute. <laughs> See, now you know why my mom and I always say it's a good thing you're pretty. I'm seeing one. Well, fill in a spot. What do you think? He had it and he lost it. <laughs> like you can see the gears turning in his head and like the steam coming out of his ears. I put on chapstick. My lips are so chat. The last one was kind of a, a throwaway. Throw away. Okay, so my eyelids, I cheated. I put like six because I thought of one right after I finished them. Oh, okay. So I guess Horror Island. Now, I'm not talking like movies. I'm just talking horror in general. Movie Island because he loves his movies. Disney Island because you're just as big a Disney freak as I am. You just don't like to show it because you're too manly. WWE Island, because you like wrestling. You told me you like wrestling. Yeah, but UFC. Ah, oh, dang it. It's okay. UFC. I, I used to watch WWE. <laughs> um, Skelly Island, because you're too damn obsessed with me. <laughs> Quit pinching my cheeks. And then Star Wars Island. That should have been the first one. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> These are your islands. Well, uh, okay. I'm sorry. Can I add one more? I'm going to cheat again. Video game island. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So first one is literally a given, mm -hmm. especially with what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. Nightmare Before Christmas island. Yep. <laughs> That's the first one. Okay. Given your obsession. Shut up. <laughs> Disney Island. Yeah, yeah. Punk Rock Island, specifically Fall Out Boy. Um, I put just straight music. Or music. But I think um 
Fallout Boy would probably be its own island. Writing island, because you love Mm -hmm. I love writing. I love writing books. I have a Wattpad. I didn't mean to put it in my description. YouTube, I love my YouTube. I love filming. I love watching. I barely watch like Hulu or Disney Plus anymore. I'm just always on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is imaginary friends. So Riley had an imaginary friend named Bing Bong. So my question to you is, do you know my imaginary friend? Our friends hmm. or do i know yours all right let's figure it out and we could be as crazy as we want to be since bing bong was part dolphin part cat part what's it, elephant part cotton candy and he cried um he cried candy so again this is another five guesses as to either what the imaginary friend could be or um, what you think the imaginary friend, like, was made out of or something like that. You get what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. You can do a max up to five. You don't have to do five, but, like, a max if you wanted details. A max of five details of the imaginary friend? Yeah. But, like, it doesn't have to be all five. Okay. I got my guess, and it's, like, super lame. Oh, my hair is falling. This is so bad. So is mine. Mine's like not even that creative. Well, do you have a guess? Huh? Do you have a guess? I'm trying to make something up right now. <laughs> I have a guess for you, but it's like super lame. What? It's so hard. Well, just think of something. <laughs> Anything. Guarantee you probably won't get it though. This sounds so scary. <laughs> okay, can I make my guess then since you're cracking the hell up? Okay, so I think your imaginary friend was Darth Vader, but he had Darth Maul's dual saber, and instead of it being red, it was green. But am I wrong? <laughs> Who was your imaginary friend? Okay, what was your imaginary friend? I never had one. You never had one? Every kid had, like, an imaginary friend. You're a loser. I thought we were making stuff up, but I put crimp. No. I know. But I put that he was made out of wood and had pencil fingers. And he's That's so terrifying. <laughs> no, I actually had two imaginary friends, but they were, it was weird because one was a big, a big girl and a big girl and she was mean. And the other one was like a tiny skinny girl who was like super nice. Their names were Sarah and Miranda. I was such a weird kid. Okay. Other than just whatever. <laughs> All right, so next is the land. So when um, Sadness and Joy and Bing Bong are all going to try and get to the train in order to get back to headquarters to help out Riley, um, they go through Imagination Land. So my question to you is, and this isn't like the islands that control her mind. This is just a random place that's like entertaining and fun. So what do you think my land is that I have in my mind? Not an island, but it's like imagination land. What do you think mine would be? I have to figure out what yours would be. If you write Disneyland, you're off the channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, make your best educated guess on what my land is. Five. No, just one, because all she had was imagination land, remember? Or did she have anything else that I'm forgetting? She had an imagination land, but it had, like, different corners to it. Okay, I have my guess. I already wrote mine down. Okay, mine is scary land. Disneyland. Okay, yeah. Mine is Disneyland, but I wrote yours down as scary land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, because your mind basically is, like, one giant horror movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, memory color. Right, most of Riley's memories um, are yellow, which is joy. So mm. the memories are joy, anger, sadness, disgust, and fear. So what dominant color? And I guess it could, this could coincide with which emotion runs my mind. So we'll do both in one, okay? Both in one. So what memory color would be in my head the most, and therefore who would run my mind? Got my answer. 
Got it. Okay, so I put, it's going to be a mix of green and yellow because I feel like you're equal parts disgust and equal parts joy. Because society can, like, make you so, like, nasty like nasty and disgusted. But yeah. then, like, every day you're happy-go-lucky, you're jumping around, and it really is, like, how do you have that much energy? It's like when Joy starts playing the accordion. Just do, 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 do. I know you're weird. Your memory colors would be red and yellow. Yeah. And anger and joy would run your mind. I may seem like a happy-ass person. There is time you... I, I can seem like, my fuse is like that, that, that big. My fuse is that big. And if somehow someone manages to light the fuse and burn it all the way down, which nine times out of ten they do. Sorry, not responsible for my actions. I can't claim that. I'm always responsible for my actions. You're still a happy person. I am, You're not I am. having fun being giggly Ooh. and silly. <laughs> Yes, but that's because of you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to Javi for participating in this video. I love you guys so much. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.